And Rex had a five day old daughter the day that he was arrested. The next time he'd see her as a free man was after her 25th birthday. Ricks was convicted of murder in 1992. Decades later, his case was thrown out. Well, now he wants Detroit police to pay up for the errors that they made in the case. Coco McAvoy spoke with him today. Coco, he says he was framed. Yes, Devin and Karen, what happened to Desmond Ricks was just wrong. There was no eyewitness, no physical evidence, and the bullets used as evidence in the case were fabricated. So now he has filed a lawsuit and he's asking for $125 million. I didn't want to die in prison. This was the day Desmond Ricks was freed from prison. Now, a couple of months later, he's suing for $125 million. I just don't want this to happen to nobody else, and it could happen to anybody. Rix's lawyer, Wolf Mueller, says the lawsuit is filed against the city of Detroit, the Detroit Police Department evidence technician, David Pouch, and the officer in charge of the 1992 investigation, Donald Staywitz, both retired from the force. 25 years that were stolen, not by mistake, they were stolen by police misconduct. Police pinned the 1992 murder of Jerry Bennett on Ricks by using fabricated gun evidence after taking a gun from Ricks's mother's house. So we can tell where lands and grooves are. This is a five bullet. A five bullet cannot make, cannot come out of a six right gun. That's impossible. Ricks believes he was framed by the Detroit Police Department. They know what they did to me. I know what they did to me. And now you know and he knows everybody knows what they did to me. So it's no secret no more. The secret's out now. He spent decades locked up away from his family and now wants justice for the injustice he was served. The money is kind of like a, a sugar coating or whatever, but it's not going to coat the problem. It's not going to do it. No, I'm going to have to correct that. I'm going to have to take it upon myself to say what they did to me. I'm not going to let that define the rest of my life. And the crime lab that was operating back in 1992 was shut down after a 2008 audit showing misconduct. Back to you. Well, Coco, if Ricks wins the lawsuit, what could happen to the, the former Detroit Police Department employees? Does that, does that mean a possibility of prison time or what? It doesn't seem like they'll face prison time at this time only because of statute of limitations. However, they are each being charged wow. $25 million in punitive damages, and they may be responsible for paying that. Wow. All right, Coco.